Oh, still got the COVID hair. You know, this food idea tied to COVID is still very much there, still very prominent. It's almost tied to who we are as hunters. Well, it is tied to who we are as hunters. I've seen an article this week from TMZ. I've seen an article this week from the New York Post saying that hunter numbers are way up. That TMZ article headlined, Hunters gonna hunt for meat. You've probably been watching the blog posts, you've been seeing the Facebook posts of everyone complaining. Too many hunters in the woods. They're in my spot. Well, the statistics are there. Michigan, 82,000 licenses sold last year. 97,000, 15,000 more licenses sold in Michigan this year for turkey season. New York, fishing licenses up 30%. Turkey licenses up 60%. State of Virginia, hunting licenses up 10%. Turkey harvest is also up 11%. The Midwest, Indiana, Iowa, spikes in hunting licenses. That's, that's awesome. Isn't that what we want? So why is everyone complaining? Why are we complaining that this has been the worst turkey season on record? There's too many people, too many hunters. Look, this is just me flying off the cuff here, but that's what we want. That's what we push for. We want more hunters. Our hunter numbers are at 4%, dropped from 6% two years ago, dropped from 11% 10 years ago. So why all of a sudden are we up in arms when the hunter numbers go up? That's what we want. That's what we need. Why? Those percentage increases, New York, Indiana, New Jersey, Michigan. You know what that means? It means more money in the conservation coffers because as hunters, we're the ones that are paying for everything. With these new numbers, it means more money for our state game and fish department. That's what new hunter numbers mean. Not that there's gonna be more competition. Okay, so what? So let's just think about it. Do we want more hunters? The answer is yes. So do we complain about it or we live with it? Up to you.